I'm Heidi Shellman, a professor of physics at Northwestern University, and this is Ann Heinsen, a research scientist at the University of California at Riverside. And uh, we're coming from Fermilab, where the top quark was discovered in 1995. And this week is especially special because a team of scientists from the D0 experiment and another team of scientists from the CDF experiment at Fermilab have recently discovered the single top. So, Anne, can you tell us a little about the single top quark? Uh, sure. We've been looking for many years, and uh, you have to find it by looking for its de decay products. So, it, it decays to a, a W boson and a B quark, and the W decays to a muon or an electron and a neutrino, and uh, that's what we reconstructed. And so, this week, we submitted the papers showing that we had first observation of this process. So we're very excited. Okay, so in honor of that, we had commissioned from the Particle Zoo, a company that makes particles, a special decaying top quark. So here's the top quark. He has a zipper in the back. You unzip him, and he turns into a B meson, and out pop the muon, actually it's an anti-muon, and the neutrino. So here is the B meson. The anti-muon and the muon neutrino. And if, of course, since nature is reversible, we could, in fact, reverse the process and put the neutrino and the anti-muon back in. So because this was specially commissioned, this is the only one. This is the single top quark that we found. 